Hi crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa. Today I have a Monday mini album series. I've been kind of slacking in keeping up with my um, mini albums, but I do have a few in the works that I'm hoping to be able to share in the next couple weeks. Um, this one is featuring some of um, Erica's new and older die sets. I love the way it came together and it worked out so perfectly. I'm kind of glad I kind of lagged on it a little bit. Um, but the dies are available at scrapdivadesigns.com and don't forget to use my discount code mwalker10 for 10% off. But let's jump in. So I shared a quick little peek of this cute little box um, on my Instagram and I finished it up. I had the album made look at this so cute it looks so chunky okay so I put together quite a few dies for this project the paper collection I ended up using was the simple stories holly uh, days and um, I think I used a sticker book and one ephemera pack and that was it everything else is just kind of my own um, I did pull out to the poinsettias Ooh. I'm dropping stuff the postage mini album i just use these two dies here the box itself is made with the box making strips and then the album itself is with the charcuterie board and the shaker part of it is made with the add-on now this piece here got lost in my mess and i had already started playing with it and then i had some stuff happen and i had to move stuff aside and this got lost in the mix um and i didn't share the projects that i created so like one of them that i have in the works is this guy here so cute look at this the little gingerbread clay bits so cute okay and then of course because erica's got new die sets i use the uppercase and number set as well as the triple bow set i think those were all of the ones that I used. So um, my goal was to make a cute little box and then an album to go inside of it. I was thinking of embellishments, but I kind of wanted to do something with Christmas and uh, like mini album, but I didn't want it to be like stuck together, like with a binding of sorts. I wanted this one to where you can just pull out the sheets individually. And then I thought it'd be so cute to have like ribbons that just kind of stick out and look chunky like this. So that's why I ended up doing this. Now the piece itself here, the big charcuterie um, board here is the largest size. And then I used the larger size of the add-on to create this second um the cutting out for the shaker the paper in the background says ho 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 and then that's why i ended up doing the ho 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 there i did include a smaller one here as you can see i don't know if you can tell but it's one of the the smallest charcuterie um set and i added this cute little charm there this is a triple star bow here i did do some stitching i should have done stitching here but like i said i had this done last month i just hadn't put it together I found this in my die set stash. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I tend to use stuff and not put it back where it goes. And so sometimes they just kind of are stragglers. So I, it was just perfect that it fit there. Is the flower set here. So cute. The leaves are of my own set um, that I've had for a long time. So let's jump in. Oh, wait, I didn't show the back. So the back I kept simple. Um, I didn't do anything extra just because if you want to back it against something, you don't have to worry about it being smashed up. I didn't do anything on the sides. Um, I am going to say, though, that I screwed up and didn't measure correctly. So one side is down here and one side is up here. Whew. But it's okay. I think it looks cute regardless. Okay, so the pages all come out. And as you can see, they are going to be individual um, little, like, picture options there. And I left the back blank because I thought it'd be pretty to journal like a good idea like whatever your picture you put here this is just from my die set I've played with this one before and it comes with the leaves and then this cute little candy cane I don't know where I got this one it's been in my stash for a while and then I use some of the ephemera there now I did add some charms and the ribbon comes from Target from the dollar spot from like a while ago and then this is just from my stash or actually somebody this was part of a swap and I saved the green so I have that there 
this one is so cute i love it look at this <laughs> this peppermint i try to throw these in wherever i can this is from hobby lobby they sell it like a bundle of like eight or twelve they're meant to be like mini ornaments but i think they're perfect for our charmed angles and whatnot this ribbon you guys i got it at at home for 3.99 last year i don't know if it was on sale or not but isn't that so pretty it's got sparkly and it's just perfect for um tags big tags or you can like ruffle it up and use it as a border trim. Um, and then this is just comes from a roll that I picked up at Joann's a couple years ago. And it comes with red and white, white and red, and then a green and white. They're so cute when you can find them. The ephemera bit here, I added it to the pocket. And so you remove it. I had this left over from this here. So I added it there. I thought it'd be a cute little contrast so cute i put some stickers down in there and then for this one it's just the smaller size charcuterie and i did cut down some of the um photo like a square down to make it like a photo and i think it's just so cute and then you have um this one here i added these big old lights just because i thought that you know you add christmas tree lights or the lights to the houses i thought it'd be cute but i'm gonna have to change out this trim because it's they're too heavy and so they're dragging and they're dragging this down and i don't like that's bugging me but i like the ruffle or the um fun like what is it called fur something not fun. i want to say funfetti but it's not funfetti the um but it's like the fur trim it's yarn anyways um i just created a cute little um photo like backing there with the ephemera and more stickers here and here i did take the ephemera add a little bit of um, foam dots there to make it stand up so it kind of aligned with the photo corner there or photo um picture piece gosh i'm tired you guys <laughs> i can't even talk oh okay i think this one's my favorite though because it's letters to santa and i took this um charm or it's not charm it's a ornament mini ornament from walmart that i've had in my stash from like a year or two ago and i thought it'd be perfect to add here because look at how cute is this little ephemera bit that it says letters to santa and i put north pole sticker and then i took this part here and i don't know if you guys can see but i put some postage stamp there from the um, die set and i cut them out so that I could layer them, but I thought it was perfect to cut out Santa's face there and add it on the little stamp. So, it, you know, it, it's Santa. And then I use that sticker that says follow la la, but so cute. And here's the red and white one that I was talking about. Super cute. I just love this paper collection. And then the last one, I did a holly um, kind of theme with the holly jolly pennant there. I found this in a, an embellishment box that I swapped, or not swapped, but it was part of Tamara's, um, her 12 days of Christmas swap. And so I threw it in there. And then I added this cute little ephemera present, added the sticker 25, another one here that says, oh, what fun in pink. I was thinking I should have added a holly back here, but it's too late. And then I added these holly leaves. I don't know where I got these from, but I've had them in my stash. I just don't like them because they open up and I feel like stuff gets caught in them and it'll tear. I'm just being picky, honestly, but that's just, you know, how we roll sometimes. So these are my little pages. I hope you guys like them and you guys are inspired to create something fun. And if you have these die sets, nothing is you know set in stone that it has to be all about one theme you can make it whatever theme you want so this could be halloween this can be easter it can be every day like just have fun with it definitely head over to scrapdivadesigns.com if you guys want to pick up any of these sets i will link as much as i can in the description box and don't forget to use my discount code mwalker10 and also check out the hashtag scrapdivadesigns for ideas and inspiration. The girls are always creating such amazing projects. Uh, just keep us inspired on the daily and it just, I love it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and thank you again for stopping by and checking these little pages out. Bye!